What is up, everybody? It's D with CBD Guy Gaming, aka this is Fire with Friends. This is my personal channel. This is where I do my chili reviews. Uh, any reviews it is where I have fun with all of my YouTubers, just for you guys. Today, we're taking on some Pringles. All right. So actually, this is just a limited edition, which is the only reason why I'm doing it. My wife came home earlier uh, and she was like hey I found some you know a spicy looking Pringle I thought that you'd really like it it's a limited edition things like that I have never had these they are Nashville hot chicken now there are actually several different places that do the same Nashville hot chicken challenges which have like the spiciest fried chicken that you can have and as always not say it's not tampered with or anything else like that. Like I said, I don't want anybody saying that I'm not reviewing the things I'm reviewing. So I'm gonna crack it open. Uh, it smells like dill actually, like Cajun dill. It smells delicious. Uh, it does have pickles on the sandwich on the picture. So, I'm pretty sure that's where the dill comes from. And would it be in Nashville? The Cajun smell makes a lot of sense. I'm salivating so bad. It's making my mouth water. It actually smells delicious. So, yeah. Pringles. Nashville hot chicken. Limited time only. And this is a Fire With Friends review. Now, Pringles always has a really hard time. Like... I feel like with their flavorings, their chips, I mean, they are healthier. I'll give them that. Uh, throw a little stack. Maybe get a little extra flavoring in there to really like, compensate. Mech, mech, mech. Mm-hmm. So, I don't really understand the... Okay. You get an aftertaste that kind of, kind of sort of tastes like chicken. Um, dry potatoes go for you. Um, hot sauce, aged cayenne pepper, onion powder, white vinegar, chili pepper, garlic powder, spices, some, you know, standard things to keep it healthy. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you can taste the dill. Alright, we're off to that. I say you just lick the chip. You would taste the dill. Um, uh, the Cajun is very, very subtle, but it le it legitimately tastes just like Cajun seasoning, and not so much like the Cajun flavoring, i.e., as you would see from say Lay's Cajun that they just recently came out with. It's not the same flavor, but it's definitely a just standard, you know, stir of the pot type seasoning as far as that goes. There's not really any thing to compare it to. I would say the chicken marsala that they had with the Lay's for a while, <clears throat> but the marsala flavor in that took over everything. Like you just tasted nothing but tomato paste. That had a very similar aftertaste. I guess it's to try to make it taste like chicken. And I said, oddly enough, once the chip's done, you actually do kind of taste chicken, which makes me uncomfortable, to be honest. They do have, you know, chicken um, powder and beef powder and stuff. It's the same shit they use in ramen. Um, figured that would be in here, but it's not. Overall, I mean, there is absolutely nothing hot about it. Not in the slightest bit. It is severely disappointing. Now, I'm pretty sure all these little specks, I don't know if y'all can see it as well, 
for these little specks. I'm pretty sure that's dill seasoning. Because like I said, that's that's your prominent flavors in this right now. It's like Cajun and dill. Not even like dill pickle, like they have a dill pickle chip. It doesn't taste like that. It just tastes like dill, like dill um, the herb. <laughs> Eat one more. Just try to top it off. See what the flavor's like. I'm not impressed. You can't say this is Nashville hot chicken if it's not fucking spicy. I hate false advertisement. It's like, oh, we got chili peppers in it. it must be spicy. Literally, my five-year-old could eat this with hands down with no problem. I said they struggle with how much seasoning they put on there. Like I said, prominent qualities. You taste the dill. And the dill is like the first smell you get, which throws off your taste buds right off the bat. Zero spice. Zero. Literally. You get a zero on my scale, Pringles. Y'all fell at this a lot. Um... Really, I'm just... It tastes good. But, I, honest to God, I, I feel like the dill pickle ones are just as good, if not better than this. For a limited time, guys, I don't think I would really... Unless you're blood get, blood Yeah. Oh, uh, does have blood. a fuck ton of sodium? Yeah, 240 for six. If you have low blood pressure, here you go. Because... That's something my wife looks into. She has she has a lot of she has low pressure blood pressure issues. Um, but yeah, I'm not impressed. I'm not disappointed. Yeah, you know, it's a limited time thing. It is a very good flavor overall. To me, it's a little plain. Pringles, y'all could have hit us with a little tiny bit more heat. At least the same extent of Cajun flavoring as dill. It should not have that overpowering taste. Uh, sorry, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. Just simply for the fact that, like, if I'm recommending a chip, it's specifically for a reason. Super generic, super, like, basic, atypical. There's not anything special about this chip. And I'm sorry. But, uh, again, as always, this is just my personal opinion. This is my review. And, hey, Pringles, don't call it hot chicken if it's not hot, bro. Don't call it that. It's not true. And I hate this false advertisement. I just wasted money on your product. I wish I wouldn't have bought this. Well, my wife wouldn't have bought it. I'm not going to say I bought it because I didn't. But regardless, I'll, it's, I'll still eat them. Just, I mean, chips are chips. I get the munchies sometimes. But yeah, guys, it's just, I wouldn't. If you want to try it, if you like dill chips, if you like Cajun chips, all of which are, you know, fairly common. I would say go with Lay's. Honest to God, go with Lay's. These are just, they're not seasoned enough. They're not, they don't have enough of anything. The flavors clash. They don't, they don't complement each other whatsoever. It's super, it's too distinctive. You have dill. And then you have like this weird chicken aftertaste, which I, I can't even place. What I'm assuming is the, uh, highlighted area here is like yellow corn flour corn no that's the chip that doesn't even make sense I don't know I really don't know what I, where I'm getting the chicken flavor but it tastes like chicken ramen it tastes like dill chicken ramen and that's the best <laughs> best closest thing I can tell any of you guys as far as how it tastes is it literally tastes like you took some pickle juice and poured it in chicken ramen and then diluted the shit out of it with water. Like, it's... It's okay, at best. But, sorry Pringles, you gotta step your game up on that one. At limited time, you should keep it as limited time. But I do appreciate everybody that watches. I do appreciate everybody that subscribes. Don't forget to like. Love to all you guys, and thank you for watching the review.